and welcome to our newest episode of Kicking It With Cage. So today what I figured was that I would take you through the sticks that I've been using in the last little bit, whether that's in videos or if that's on the lacrosse floor. Take you through the different ones that I've currently been using and uh, yeah, I'm sh some of them you've already seen, some of them won't be new to you guys, but that is what our episode today will be of Kicking It With Cage, just showing you guys again my sticks that I've been using for the last little bit. So start off with stick number one. We'll go with the one that started it all off by Clutch Fanatic with the number 47 dyed purple marble here. Again, a mid to low pocket. I'm cradling the ball, sits nice and low. And then when I go to shoot the ball, comes up a little bit higher. So that's that stick that I, that's that stick that I've been using. It's been awesome so far. I have no complaints with it. And it's been great. <clears throat> As you notice, my voice is kind of all over the place. We just got back from our spring break trip with the Hill Academy, and my voice is pretty much shot. So, moving on to our next stick. Again, the same pocket in all of my sticks, the exact same string job across the board. We've got another stick by Rebel Knights Across. Huge shout out, thank you for the blue die. Again, a mid to low pocket right there. Semi soft full tape on this and this right now has been my backup it's just not exactly broken in and ready to be used yet and my other stick's been working pretty well so far so there's always that that I've been using anyway three straight shooters across same exact pattern same stick moving on to our next stick here we have the game stick that I've currently been using with gray mesh in it three straight shooters full tape all the way just got back from practice. I know it's late, but I need to shoot a video anyway. A little torn up. Anyway, three straights, mid to low, same exact pattern in this stick. And so far it's been working well. Can't complain about this one. Um, yeah, it's got a couple key goals in it lately, so that part's been nice too. There's that. We've got one of our original warp, which is the Evo 4. Um, the next one that I'll show you is the new Evo 5, but this is a universal size, so universal spec meaning it's, you can be, it can be used across the board, high school, worlds, college, all of those. So you can use that spec head, but the Evo 4 here with a uh, mid pocket, three straight shooters across on the top there, as you can see, as always. And yeah, this one's a little bit wider than the next one that I'm going to show you, but um, I would like for a little bit lower of a pocket here. I, as you can see, the bottom here is a little open. I would like for my, the ball to sit right down there, and then when I'm shooting, come right about here. But it just cut, transfers up a little bit too high for my liking right now, but this one has got plenty and plenty of use out of it. Uh, especially coaching. It's been awesome and I used this one for a little bit in last year's season. And then moving on to our last stick of the day is a new one that I got. I'm super excited about the only downfall and I'm not one to complain about anything, but um, this stick in particular is by far the, the best throwing warp that I've used to date. It's unbelievable, it's amazing. My only knock is that it's high school spec. And I just don't use high school spec heads. So as great as this is and as amazing it is as it is, I, I probably won't use it in the game realistically. I've been using it a lot, shooting around, uh, just getting extra reps in, playing wall ball, uh, coaching, shooting on the, uh, on the goalies at school. And it's been awesome and I love the way that it throws. The pocket is just a little bit too high for me. I would like for it to be lower, but again, I like a stick that's as wide as possible for optimal catching abilities. I don't like to limit myself with a high school spec head. So as amazing as this stick is, and this is by far, bar none, the best warp that I've used so far. It's the box across warp, um, the Evo 5, 
I don't even have an Evo 5 in my own repertoire, so to have a Warp Evo 5 is amazing and it's awesome and I appreciate it, Warrior Lacrosse, thank you very much. I would just love for my stick to be a little bit wider so that I could actually use it because I probably wouldn't use this in a game realistically, which is the unfortunate thing because, like I said, it throws amazing. I think that in comparison with the warps, as you can see here, this little channel part right here on the two, this one is cut off right there by a shooter, this one is not. And I think that that absolutely has become a game changer for the warps because it allows that ball to just come out nice and smooth from the top. Still has as much hold as the other ones, if not probably a little bit more, but it just comes out so much smoother. And again, in saying that, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome head. And I know that a lot of guys in the NLL are using it right now. I would just like for it to be wider. That's all. I like the universal heads. No knocks against this head except for the width of it because again i like to be able to catch everything that comes my way at least try to catch everything that comes my way and i don't like to limit myself with a smaller pinched head so pocket size is great as you can see it right there pocket size is great the diamonds on it are awesome the hold in it is great but i just need a stick that ultimately is as wide as possible Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. Those are the sticks that I've been using in games, in shoot arounds, in practice, in a couple of the vlogs. You've seen the Rebel Knights blue head. So I've been using those kind of all through all throughout the course of this year, and those are my one, two, three, four, five go-to sticks at this point. Um, I don't know if there'll be more that come into the repertoire, but as of right now, this guy is the gamer. It's been treating me well, it's awesome. I have no complaints with it. So hopefully it can continue its great success as we have a game this upcoming weekend against Calgary. But if you guys have any video ideas, video options, any questions for me, leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts. Give the video a thumbs up. It means way more than what you think. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. with another vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Another episode of Kicking It With Cage in the books. And... Yeah, a little stick tutorial, a little stick talk, nothing crazy, but those are my sticks. That's me, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.